Today we're taking an in-depth look at the new Maps application in OS X Mavericks. Taking a lot of design cues from the iPads version, Maps for Mac does a good job of creating a native experience on the Mac, not just porting the iPad version. Starting up at the top, Maps offers a couple different options. Just like on the iOS version, you can pinpoint your location or switch to flyover 3D mode. Directions is pretty similar to what you'll find in iOS, giving you step-by-step -step instructions on where to go. There's two neat features with it, however. Using the share button, you can send a specific location or directions right to your iPhone. Additionally, using the Mac's new Save to PDF option, you can automatically generate a PDF with trip instructions right on it. In the center of the app are view options for Maps. These are identical to iOS. Standard provides you with the same vector imagery, and Satellite will either give you 3D flyover where available or standard satellite images. You can even view traffic info. The bookmarks button, as expected, will give you a listing of every pin that you've bookmarked. Searching in Maps performs much as you'd think. Clicking on a result gives you an iPad-style pop-up of information about the place, and images linked to Yelp's website. Navigation within the app is a little strange. When using a mouse, scrolling normally just pans around the map instead of zooming. Clicking and dragging also pans around, so the functionality seems kind of redundant. It also makes zooming somewhat of a pain, since you'll need to either use the plus and minus buttons, or double click and use command and minus to zoom in and out. Panning around in 3D view is also a little odd coming from the iOS version, but it works well. You can almost think of the compass in the corner as a joystick, which allows you to change viewing angle and rotation. Unlike the iOS version, there's also a toggle to show scale inside the app. Last but not least, it's full screen mode, which is mostly useful for exploring the world when using flyover. Apple's 3D imagery on the map app looks stunningly realistic and much more detailed than on iOS, making full screen feel really realistic and immersive on a large display. So there's a look at Maps for Mac, an incredibly well done application, and probably one of the best features of OS X Mavericks. Music